drawbacks when it comes to this rear diff cushion kit from Z1 Motorsports for the Infiniti Q50 and Q60. Admittedly, there's only a couple of them, but you should pay attention through this entire video so you know what you're getting into before you purchase this yourself. Thankfully, over the last couple of weeks, I was able to get some testing done with this rear diff cushion kit in my own 2015 Infiniti Q50, and I have some insights for you, some pros and cons, and we'll just get into all of it. I'll show you the before and after videos from underneath the car, some pretty cool footage. So. Let's just dive right into it. Now, although the negatives of this kit are pretty serious, the pros are massive as well. So let's start with those. First of all, I was really surprised at the ride quality in this Q50 after installing this kit. Now remember in my installation video, I said my initial testing was done without the diff brace from Z1 Motorsports. Now, for the last couple of weeks, I've continued to drive that way. I left the brace off. I didn't want there to be any influence from that brace in terms of how this car rode, the vibration that we felt in the car, the rigidity added to the chassis. I just wanted it to be straight up the diff bushing kit. Um, a lot of people ask about the MVH, the noise, vibration, and the harshness after installing this. Now, you guys know with solid mounts, whether it's motor mounts, trans mounts, solid diff bushings, um, that can cause a lot of vibration, a lot of weird noise inside the cabin. It can cause your meters to vibrate. It just really makes the ride a little more harsh or significantly more harsh. With the poly diff bushings, however, there's still quite a bit of cush. You can certainly feel how the torque is transferred directly to the ground. Now, if you take a look at the undercar footage of the factory diff bushing, you can really see that flex both at launch when it dips and pulls down really hard, but also when you let off the throttle, you can see that rebound. And that's where you can see all that, that force, that torque, the power uh, just being lost and absorbed in that, in that diff bushing. Uh, there is still a little bit of squish in this poly diff bushing, which some people were quick to point out, but it's very, very minimal. And it's only in that initial launch. You can see it squish a little bit, but there is no rebound. Let's take a look at that. before in my other video, it feels, ride quality feels like it did when I had the diff brace installed. So you can feel just a little bit of added rigidity, but it's not absurd and it's not something that, it's something that you'll definitely notice compared to the factory diff bushing, but it's not, uh, it's not wild. It's you can really feel that transfer of, of the torque to the back even if you're not getting after it at all i don't want to say it feels more raw because it's definitely still a comfortable ride but you can just feel it just it's like direct it's a lot more direct it's like the car is more connected to the the accelerator pedal it's very interesting it's a good feeling now in my experience in launch testing this car now after installing the diff bushing uh, I can definitely feel a difference in prior days when I was lucky enough to get a little bit of traction you can feel that rear end kind of squat now that improved a little bit when I installed the BC racing coilovers there's a little bit less body roll a little bit little less weight transfer um, but now after installing this bushing kit uh, the torque, the launch, feels a lot more linear than it did before. There's less of that squat and then takeoff. It's more just straight shot. And you can see that in my testing videos if you guys will check those out and I'll try to put some clips in here as well. Uh, but it feels like you're really transferring that torque directly to the ground and that's what we're after. And you're not losing that ride quality as I mentioned before. It's just a little bit of added rigidity. It's nothing crazy. Now, if you install solid diff bushings, all that vibration, that additional noise, that's all transferred to the cabin. If you're looking for a dual purpose vehicle that you can take to the track and enjoy some added traction, a little added stability, a little bit more of a nimble car, more planted feel, but still drive it on the weekends, get the family in the car and go on a road trip, this is the best option. Not to mention the fact that when you start installing solid mounts, engine mounts, trans mounts, diff bushings, that's when stuff starts to break. There's no leeway, there's no flexibility, it's just tight and rigid. So you lose ride quality, and also you start to break components, and that's never a good thing. So I think this is the best of both worlds. 
Now, speaking of alternatives, you guys know that if you try to replace your failed diff bushing with the OEM solution, which is a, a complete replacement of the rear subframe, which is like $2,500 people are getting charged for at the dealership, this is only $250-ish, something like that, 238 bucks, I think it is. You really can't beat that. So not only is it a good replacement in terms of ride quality and functionality, it's a good alternative in terms of price point and how it impacts your wallet. Uh, so it's checking a lot of boxes. On top of that, it looks pretty awesome. I gotta say, it looks cool underneath the car. It's not like you get under there and take a look at it or people are you know, leaning over and looking at your rear diff bushing, but if you wanna show it off, it does look pretty sweet. So you guys might be asking yourselves, well, what the hell is the problem? It's functional, it seems to work properly. It doesn't hinder or reduce ride quality and in, in, in overall feel in the car. It looks good and it's at a really good price point. What is the problem? These are the big negatives that I wanted to bring up. Number one, it's not, it's not an easy installation, guys. You guys saw my installation video. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. It's not that it's difficult in terms of the knowledge required to do this. If you are at all mechanically inclined and you have some hand tools, you can certainly tackle this project. The problem is that it just, it takes a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. It can be a little bit of a nightmare to get that diff bushing out. And a lot of people chimed in and said, well, why don't you just use the removal tool from the G's? I have one. I do have one. But Z1 Motorsports actually recommends to not use it because the problem is that you don't want to bend your rear subframe. It's a two-piece setup, right? It's a two-piece kind of sandwiched subframe and there's a risk of bending it either the inside or the outside of it or the front side or the back side of it and that could affect how well this diff bushing is installed you know you don't want any movement and if you have if it's bended or significantly out of round it could cause it to be loose in there it's just it can be a nightmare so not only is it kind of a difficult installation there's a little bit of risk involved and those are my two cons again it's not that you can't handle it i think it with some patience the proper tools uh, and taking your time uh, you can do it uh, and if you have a shop do it it could be kind of expensive because again it is time consuming so there's some cons, but they're really not that bad, to be quite honest. So overall, what's my opinion? Do I recommend this? Is it worth buying? Yes, absolutely so. Especially if your rear diff bushing has failed. It is a good upgrade. It is certainly going to help you transfer all that torque to the ground more efficiently and more effectively. But if your diff bushing hasn't failed, I think adding the diff brace from Z1 Motorsports is going to go a long way. If you're really trying to maximize performance, certainly do the upgrade. It's not that bad, you can handle it. If your diff bushing has failed, absolutely a good alternative to, rather than replacing it with the full subframe. That's just insane to me spending $2,500 on the damn thing. Uh, and there's really no other options and I don't think a solid diff bushing is the way to go. In terms of performance, the difference between this poly diff bushing and a solid diff bushing is gonna be so minimal that it's not worth it. It's not worth the reduction in ride quality, the noise, the MVH that you're gonna that you're gonna deal with with a solid diff bushing. You're just not going to get that much more performance. People refer to that as return on investment. You go with this poly diff bushing from Z1, you're going to get 99% of the added benefit uh, that you would with a solid diff bushing without reducing ride quality without risk of breaking anything without any of that vibration it's this is the way to go this is the way to go honestly i think this is one of your best bang for your bucks to be quite honest that's my opinion hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed some of that under car footage uh, i think it's kind of cool to see this diff bushing in action let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments i'll get to them as quickly as i possibly can if you have any really specific product related questions go to z1 motorsports they'll help you out